Hi guys, it's Sophie. Today I thought I'd read you a little bedtime story from one of my favourite children's books from when I was little. Here you go, see if you recognise this book. I absolutely loved it when we used to read it. It took me a whole time. Here we go. Ruby by Maggie Glenn. Ruby felt different from other bears. Sort of special. Mrs. Harris had been daydreaming when she had made Ruby. She didn't notice that you, she used a spotted material that was meant for the toy leopards. She didn't watch carefully when she stood on the nose. Ruby wasn't surprised when she was chosen from the other bears, but she didn't like being picked by her ear. Ouch! Get off, she growled. Ruby's paw was stamped with an S, which was thrown into the air. Yippee! S is for special, yelled Ruby. Ruby flew across the factory and landed in a box full of bears. Hello, she said. My name's Ruby and I'm special, see? She held up her paw. No silly, yelled the big bear. S is for second. Second best. We were mistakes, the bear with the rabbit ears, said the bear with the rabbit ears. When the box is full, we'll be all thrown out. Ruby's fur stood on end and she was horrified. More bears joined them in the box. At last the machine stopped. They listened to the workers as they chatted and hurried on to catch the bus home. When they heard the key turn in the lock, then everything was quiet. One by one the bears fell asleep, all except Ruby. Ruby was thinking. The only sound that was, was the sound of the big bear snoring. Hours passed. Suddenly Ruby shouted, That's it! What's it? gasped the rabbit-eared bear who woke up with a fright. What? What's going on? groaned the big bear, rubbing his sleepy eyes. That's it, said, Ru said Ruby again. Well, escape. Escape, they all shouted, and jumped out of the box. Escape. Let's go, said Ruby. They looked for a way out. They rattled the windows, they pushed the doors. There's no way out, cried the little bear. We're trapped. This way, shouted Ruby, rushing through the cloakroom. They found a broken air vent. It was a very tight squeeze. They pushed and they pulled. They wriggled and they waggled until they were all in the yard outside. They ran silently, swiftly through the night into the day. Some ran to the country, some ran to town. Some squeezed through letterboxes. Some slipped through open windows. Some hid in cupboards. And some crept into bed with lonely children. But Ruby climbed into the window of the very best toy shop in town. The other toys stared at Ruby. What's the S for? squealed the pigs. Special, said Ruby proudly. All the toys shrieked with laughter. Scruffy, said the smart looking penguin. Sloppy, said the chimpanzee. Stupid, giggled the mice. Very strange for a bear, they all agreed. Don't come next to me, said a prim doll. Wouldn't want to, said Ruby. Stand at the back, shouted the other toys. They all poked and they pulled. They prodded and they pushed. Ruby was pushed back as hard as she could, but there were too many of them. So Ruby spent all day at the back of the shelf. Then just before closing time, a small girl came into the shop with her grandfather. They searched and searched for something, something different, something special. That's the one, said the little girl. Yes, Susie, said Grandfather. That one looks very special. Ruby looked around. Can they see me? It's me. They're pointing at me. Whoopee! We'll have that one, please, said the Grandfather. The shopkeeper put Ruby on the counter. She looked at the S on Ruby's paw. I'm sorry, sir. This one is a second. I'll fetch another. No, thank you. That one is just perfect, said Grandfather. It has character. Character, thought Ruby. That sounds good. Shall I wrap it for you? The shopkeeper asked. Not likely, growled Ruby. Who wants to be shoved in a paper bag? No, thank you, said Susie. I'll just have her as she is. They all went out of the shop and down the street. And then they came to a yellow door. They stopped. 
I am spotty, said Susie. Spotty? What a cheek, muttered Ruby. It's got a growl, said Susie. And she said... And she and her grandfather laughed. Susie took off her coat and scarf and sat Ruby on her lap. Susie stared at Ruby and Ruby stared back. Suddenly, Ruby saw a little silver S hanging on the chain around Susie's neck. Hooray, thought Ruby. One of us... A special. And that's the end of the story. I'm afraid it was quite a quick one this time. Just a little bedtime story. Treasury of the Bears. <laughs>